Hey everyone, I'm Jim from Orange Tea AAG. Today, we're diving into a hot topic for Singaporean property owners. Timing the sale of your HDB flat, EC or condo. Everyone seems to have an opinion. Sell now because prices are skyrocketing or hold on for even higher gains. The truth is, there are sweet spots to maximize your return and understanding them is key to a smart asset progression strategy. We've all heard the stories of friends or family selling their flats for a hefty sum. But why do prices seem to surge at specific points? Let's break it down for each property type. First, HDB flats, the five-year sweet spot. For HDB flats, the magic number is often at five years, which is the minimum occupation period, MOP. Here's why this is the prime time for sellers. First, imagine you're a buyer. Would you rather pay a premium for a sparkling new flat or a decades old one? Most buyers gravitate towards the fresh appeal of a newly MOP'd flat. This aligns perfectly with sellers who want to capitalize on this preference. On top of the buyer mindset, consider the eligibility factor. During the initial BTO launch phase, only Singapore citizens and SPRs with income limits can buy the flats. But after the MOP leaves, the pool expands to include pretty much everyone. This sudden influx of eligible buyers drives prices up. For ECs, similar to HDB flats, they experience a price jump around the five-year mark. Here's the story behind the search. Like HDBs, ECs have multiple restrictions for buyers when new. After five years though, these restrictions loosen significantly, opening the door to a much larger pool of potential buyers. This increased competition pushes prices higher. Another unique factor to ECs is the financing difference between new and resale units. Resale ECs offer higher loan limits compared to new ones. This translates to greater purchasing power for buyers, further intensifying the bidding war. Some sellers might consider holding onto their ECs until the 10-year mark, where they become fully privatized and can be sold to foreigners. However, the reality is that foreign buying volume for ECs is quite small. Additionally, the additional buyer stamp duty ABSD for foreigners sits at a hefty 60%, significantly limiting the potential pool of buyers. Therefore, the impact of waiting for the 10-year mark to sell to foreigners is often minimal to non-existent. Unlike HDBs and ECs, condos reach their peak price a little sooner, typically around 3 years after launch or at TOP. This price jump can be attributed to a confluence of three key factors. First, the developer's sales curve. Imagine a wave. During the initial launch phase, developers are often more flexible with pricing to create sales momentum. This is your chance to snag a unit at a potentially lower price point. As sales progress, prices gradually increase, much like a wave rising. This creates a perception of rising value and incentivizes buyers to act quickly. The end result, buyers who purchase early can potentially ride this wave and sell their units later at the developer's projected future sales prices. Secondly, time is money. Newly TOP condos offer a distinct advantage, immediate occupancy for a brand new unit. You can move in right away without the hassle and expense of extensive renovations or temporary rentals. This convenience factor attracts a specific set of buyers willing to pay a premium to bypass these challenges. This increased buyer demand during the initial TOP period puts upward pressure on prices. Furthermore, real estate is a dynamic environment. The time it takes to construct a condo can span several years. During this period, the surrounding market can shift. Land sales might occur at higher prices due to factors like inflation or rising material costs. This sets a new benchmark for future projects in the area. As a result, condos launched later might inherently carry a higher price tag, indirectly impacting the resale value of newly completed condos and driving them upwards as well. In a nutshell, these three factors developer pricing strategies, move-in advantage, and the evolving real estate landscape work together to push condo prices towards their peak around three years after launch or at TOP. Understanding these dynamics can be helpful when navigating the condo market, whether you're a buyer or a seller. The concept of asset progression is a highly popular strategy in Singapore. Many homeowners use the profits from selling their HDB flat at MOP to upgrade to an EC, then eventually a condo or even a landed. The key is to time these transitions strategically to maximize gains. But remember, it's not just about timing. While timing plays a role, it's not the only factor to consider. External market fluctuations, 
personal circumstances and individual risk tolerance all deserve careful thought before making any major decisions. Feeling overwhelmed by the options? Don't hesitate to reach out to me for personalized advice on navigating your specific situation. Leave a comment below or contact me directly. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.